Hello from London, I'm Dr. Popkins and this is the second video in the Embracing Effort series here on Quick Tip Tuesday. What's it all about? Well, the message that I was wanting to get across was that it's often good to embrace effort in language learning. If things feel difficult and we know we're using good methods, then it's probably a sign that they are having an effect. And I mentioned that one of the, uh, the pitfalls perhaps with the passive skills of reading and listening is that we just coast along uh, within our comfort zone. One of the ways we can get out of that is to embrace techniques which make our engagement with texts, whether they are uh, actually literal written texts or things that we're listening to, more active. So the first idea is loyal retelling. Now, to do this, you need a text in front of you, which could be something uh, from your textbook, or it could be uh, an, an audio recording, and it would help then if you've got a transcript of it, whether it's the audio uh, from your textbook, or if not, you can, you can make a transcript by doing a dictation exercise and working with a teacher or a tandem partner to make sure you've got down uh, an accurate text, which can be useful then for control. What you do is you read through, or if you're doing it with a listening exercise, you listen through a couple of times first, jotting down some pointers to help you with the structure. Now, we're not talking about a long text here. We're talking about something which uh, you can get through in maybe uh, 30 seconds of listening. Um, so we're talking maybe half a page maximum uh, of, of text. And um, so jot down some pointers. It's not a memory test. And then, with the help of this framework that you've jotted down, try and retell as accurately as you can. And you can do that in, in writing or simply by, uh, by telling the, uh, you know, retelling the content uh, into a tape recorder uh, or to your teacher or tandem partner. You can do this straight away, first of all, and then you can return to it after a delay later on that day or then uh, you know, spacing the repetition. This exercise will help to reinforce structures and um, involves a more extensive uh, interaction with something that you might otherwise just passively have read or listened to. So we're starting to use the technique of elaboration to interact more extensively with material. If you come back to it, then you're also spacing uh, using the idea of spaced repetition. If you increase the spaces, it helps entrench uh, the content into your long-term memory. And also, you are using the testing effect. You're avoiding illusions of learning because you are really then forcing yourself to try and recall the material. I stress once again that this is not a test of memory. Uh, it's just trying to get uh, more interactive with uh, a text uh, that you that you have. So have you tried this already? Does it sound like a good idea to you? Let me know in the comments below and I'll be back soon with another uh, Quick Tip Tuesday video in this series. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for the vibe, throw me a thumbs up, batter that bell and share or be square. Sayonara.